In this audiobook, you'll discover the hidden secret to asking the universe and receiving everything you desire. As you listen, you'll realize the power has always been within you. Now, it's time to align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, and watch as the universe fulfills your every request. The Power of Asking Introduction You are the inheritor of a cosmic legacy. Within you lies the same creative power that shaped the universe, dormant yet waiting, waiting for you to awaken and reclaim it. The time has come for you to step into your birthright and master the art of divine asking. Consider the humble seed. It does not question its right to grow, to reach for the sun, to become a mighty tree. It simply asks the soil for nourishment, the rain for water, the sun for warmth. In its asking, it receives. The universe conspires to fulfill its request because the seed's desire is in perfect harmony with the grand design. So too must you learn to ask without doubt, without fear, with the pure intention of a seed yearning to sprout. You are no different from that seed. You are a cosmic being, temporarily clothed in flesh, and with the power to shape reality through your thoughts and desires. But how does one ask the universe? It is not a mere utterance of words, but a harmonious alignment of thought, feeling, and belief. It is a state of being where your entire essence becomes the question, the desire, the intention. This book will reveal the sacred art of asking, a spiritual practice that aligns you with the universe's hidden laws. This is the key, the missing piece of the puzzle that will unlock untold possibilities in your life. As you continue, you will learn how to tap into the unseen forces that govern creation and by asking, command the limitless power of the divine. Part 1. Awakening and Foundations Chapter 1. The Sacred Art of Asking That No One Talks About In a vast, unforgiving desert, a weary wanderer trudged through endless dunes, his throat parched, his hope dwindling with each step. The merciless sun beat down upon him, and the horizon shimmered with mirages that taunted his desperate thirst. In this moment of deepest need he remembered an ancient teaching, Ask, and you shall receive. With his last breath of strength, he lifted his face to the sky and whispered to the wind, Guide me. It was a simple request, born of pure necessity and devoid of doubt, and in that instant a gentle breeze stirred the air, carrying with it the faintest scent of water. Following this ethereal guide, the traveler crested a final dune to behold a lush oasis, teeming with life and fresh, cool water. It had been there all along, hidden just beyond his sight, waiting for him to ask for guidance. This narrow reeve reveals a profound truth. Asking is the key that unlocks the doors of the universe. Often the answers to our deepest needs lie closer than we realize, obscured only by our failure to ask. In a world that glorifies action and self-reliance, we have forgotten the sacred power of asking. But I tell you now, asking is not a passive act of weakness. It is a divine alignment with the creative forces that shape our reality. When you ask, you engage in a cosmic dance with the universe, opening channels through which abundance can flow. To ask is to acknowledge the interconnectedness of all things. It is to recognize that you are not separate from the universe, but an integral part of its grand design. Just as the planets do not hesitate to ask for the sun's gravity to keep them in orbit, so too must you learn to ask without hesitation or shame. Let me share with you another tale, one of an ancient sage and his eager young student. The student, seeking the secrets of prosperity, approached the sage and asked, Master, how can I attain great wealth? The sage smiled knowingly and replied, First, you must learn to ask correctly. 
The universe responds not to vague desires, but to clear intentional requests. Ask not for wealth, but for the wisdom to recognize and create true abundance. Heeding his master's words, the student began to ask for wisdom and understanding. As he did so, he found that his perception of wealth transformed. He discovered abundance not just in material possessions, but in knowledge, relationships, and inner peace. Through the power of intentional asking, he had unlocked the path to true fulfillment. Like this student, you too can harness the power of asking to manifest not just material gains, but a life of purpose and deep satisfaction. By aligning your request with your highest self, you open the floodgates of universal abundance. Now I offer you a simple practice to begin your journey into the art of divine asking. Pause for a moment in your day. Find a quiet space where you can be alone with your thoughts. Take a deep breath and center yourself. Now, ask the universe for something small but specific. It could be a sign, a moment of clarity, or a small act of kindness from a stranger. Make your request clear and intentional, then release it to the cosmos. Over the next few days, observe how the universe responds. You may be surprised at the synchronicities that unfold, revealing the hidden threads that connect all things. Chapter 2 The universe is always listening. Are you ready to be heard? In a small village there lived a gardener whose hands were as gentle as they were wise. Each morning, as the first light of dawn painted the sky, he would kneel before his garden and speak softly to the earth. Dear soil, he would say, I ask you to nurture the seeds I've planted. Bring forth abundance and beauty. His neighbors would pass by, shaking their heads and chuckling. Words alone cannot make plants grow. They would scoff. But the gardener paid them no mind, for he knew a truth they had forgotten. As the seasons turned, a miracle unfolded. While other gardens withered in the heat or succumbed to pests, the gardener's plot flourished. Lush vines climbed trellises, heavy with fruit. Flowers bloomed in vibrant hues, their petals soft as silk. The air was sweet with the scent of herbs and ripe vegetables. This story illustrates the unseen dialogue that takes place between you and the universe. Just as the gardener spoke to the earth, so too do your thoughts and words reach the ears of the cosmos. The universe is not a distant, uncaring force. It is an active participant in your life, always listening, always ready to respond to your desires. Every thought you think, every word you speak, carries energy that ripples through the fabric of reality. The universe recognizes this energy and responds in kind. Many of you have been taught to doubt, to believe that your requests fall on deaf ears. But I tell you now, it is time to shift from doubt to faith. The universe hears every whisper of your heart, every silent plea of your soul. It is waiting, always waiting, for you to ask. Consider the story of a young woman named Amara. For years, she struggled to find her path in life, feeling lost and without direction. One night, in a moment of desperation, she looked up at the starry sky and asked him, Show me the way. In the days that followed, Amara began to notice subtle changes. A chance encounter led to a job opportunity she had never considered. A book fell open to a page that spoke directly to her heart's desire. Little by little, doors began to open, guiding her towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. You see, the universe had been waiting for Amara to ask. And when she did, it responded with a symphony of synchronicities. Your life, too, is filled with these subtle responses from the universe. Every coincidence, every unexpected opportunity, every moment of inspiration is a whisper from the cosmos saying, I hear you, I am here. 
To deepen your connection with this cosmic dialogue, I offer you this practice. Each morning, as you greet the day, write down one request. It need not be grand or life-changing. Simply ask for something with clarity and intention. Then, as you move through your day, be alert for the universe's response. It may come in unexpected forms, a overheard conversation, a sudden insight, a small act of kindness. By acknowledging these responses, you strengthen your bond with the universe, opening yourself to ever greater abundance. Chapter 3. How to Align Your Mind with the Universe's Secrets In a sun-dappled workshop, a master sculptor stood before a massive block of marble. His apprentice watched in awe as the master's hands moved with grace and precision, chipping away at the stone. As days turned to weeks, a form began to emerge, a figure of breathtaking beauty. When the statue was complete, the apprentice marveled, Master, how did you create such perfection from a shapeless block? The sculptor smiled and replied, My child, I did not create. The form was always there, waiting within the stone. I merely revealed what already existed. This tale holds an important truth about your relationship with the universe. Just as the statue existed within the marble, your desires and potential already exist within the fabric of reality. Your task is not to create but to reveal. To align your mind with the universe's flow and uncover the abundance that awaits you. The mind, you see, is a conduit for the universe's energy. When you align your thoughts with the deeper wisdom of the cosmos, you open yourself to infinite possibilities. But in the cacophony of daily life, this alignment often becomes obscured. To reconnect with this cosmic current, you must first quiet the noise that surrounds you. Let go of the ceaseless chatter of doubt and fear. Instead, turn your attention inward to the still, small voice that speaks of your true desires. As you cultivate this inner silence, you will find that your thoughts begin to resonate with the universe's rhythm. Your desires will become clearer, more focused. And as you ask with this newfound clarity, you will see the universe respond with increasing synchronicity. Consider now the tale of a wise king who sought guidance in ruling his vast kingdom. He retreated to a sacred grove and asked the universe for wisdom. In the rustling of leaves and the twinkling of stars, he received a simple yet profound answer. Align with the stars and your kingdom will flourish. The king took this message to heart. He began to make decisions not based on fleeting desires or political gain, but on the eternal principles he observed in the cosmos. As he aligned his rule with these universal truths, his kingdom indeed flourished. Crops grew in abundance. Conflicts resolved peacefully. And a sense of harmony pervaded the land. This story speaks not only to rulers of kingdoms, but to you, the sovereign of your own life. As you align your mind with the divine, you gain the power to transform not just your personal circumstances, but the world around you. To help you experience this alignment, I offer you this practice. Find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed. Close your eyes and take deep, calming breaths. Imagine a golden light flowing down from the heavens, entering through the crown of your head and filling your entire being. As this light permeates your body and mind, feel yourself aligning with the divine wisdom of the universe. In this state of alignment, ask for clarity in your desires. Listen deeply for the response that comes not as words, but as a knowing in your heart. Chapter 4. Clarity is Power in the vast expanse of the ocean, a lone sailor drifted aimlessly, his vessel at the mercy of the currents. Night after night he gazed at the stars, hoping they would guide him home. But the celestial lights remained silent, 
indifferent to his plight. One evening, as despair threatened to overwhelm him, an ancient wisdom stirred within his heart. He realized that the stars had always been there, ready to guide him, but only if he knew what direction he sought. With this revelation, the sailor closed his eyes and for the first time asked himself clearly, where do I truly wish to go? As if in response to his newfound clarity, the stars seemed to rearrange themselves, forming a path across the night sky. The sailor, now armed with a clear destination, steered his ship with purpose, following the celestial roadmap laid out before him. This parable holds a profound truth. The power of your desires is unleashed only when you ask with clarity. Vagueness and uncertainty in your requests are like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the vast ocean of possibilities. But when you ask with precision, you send a focused beam of energy into the universe, directing its infinite power towards your specific goals. Consider the difference between asking for success and asking for a fulfilling career as a healer, helping others overcome their emotional trauma. The former is a nebulous concept, open to countless interpretations. The latter paints a vivid picture, allowing the universe to align its forces precisely with your vision. Clarity in asking is not about limiting your possibilities, Rather, it's about honing in on what truly resonates with your soul's purpose. When you ask with clarity, you are not just making a request. You are declaring your readiness to receive. In a secluded mountain retreat, a wise woman gathered her students around her. Clarity, she said, her eyes twinkling with ancient knowledge, is the bridge between intention and manifestation. She held up a crystal clear as mountain air. See how the light passes through this crystal focused and pure. So too must your desires be to pierce the veil between thought and reality. Her students nodded, beginning to understand. One by one they approached her, speaking their desires with newfound clarity. And as they did, a subtle shift occurred. The air seemed to shimmer with possibility as if the universe itself was leaning in to listen. This tale mirrors your own journey, seeker. The clarity with which you ask determines not only what you receive, but also how swiftly and accurately it manifests in your life. Your clear, precise asking acts as a beacon, guiding the universe's infinite resources towards the fulfillment of your desires. To help you harness this power, I offer you this practice. Take a moment now to write down three clear desires. Focus on precise details, not just what you want, but how it will look, feel, and impact your life. Let your words paint a vivid picture that the universe can respond to with exquisite accuracy. As you do this, feel the shift within you, the alignment of your thoughts, your words, and the cosmic forces that shape reality. Chapter 5. Vibration Speaks Louder Than Words, The Hidden Law of Asking In a bustling marketplace, a musician sat with his instrument, his fingers plucking at the strings. Though his melodies were intricate and his skill undeniable, the music that filled the air was discordant and jarring. Passers-by winced and hurried past, leaving the musician bewildered and disheartened. As the sun began to set, an old sage approached. With a knowing smile, he gently took the instrument and began to tune it. As he worked, he spoke, Your song is beautiful, but your instrument is out of tune. No matter how exquisite the melody, if the vibration is misaligned, it cannot resonate with the world around it. This tale unveils a profound truth about the nature of asking. Words alone are not enough to manifest your desires. It is the energy behind them, the vibration of your being, that the universe truly responds to. Consider that every thought, every emotion, every desire you hold resonates at a specific frequency. 
the universe in its infinite wisdom responds not just to what you say, but to the energy you emit. When you ask for abundance while feeling lack, or for love while harboring resentment, you create a dissonance that the universe cannot reconcile. To truly harness the power of asking, you must align your entire being, thoughts, emotions, and energy with your desires. This alignment is the key to unlocking the universe's boundless potential. Imagine a merchant, his stall filled with the finest silks and spices. Day after day, he calls out to potential customers, extolling the virtues of his wares. Yet his business struggles, his shelves remaining full while his purse grows light. A wise woman observes his plight and approaches. Your words speak of abundance, she says, but your energy whispers of fear and lack. It is this discord that keeps customers at bay. She teaches the merchant to shift his focus from what he lacks to what he already possesses. With each passing day, as gratitude fills his heart, his energy transforms. Soon customers begin to flock to his stall, drawn by an inexplicable sense of abundance and joy. This tale mirrors your own journey. Your emotional and energetic alignment is as crucial as the words you speak. When you ask from a place of lack, you attract more lack. But when you ask from a place of abundance and gratitude, you open yourself to receive the universe's bounty. To help you harness this power, I offer you this practice. Begin each day with a gratitude ritual. Before you ask for anything, Spend a few moments in quiet reflection, acknowledging all that you already have. Feel the warmth of gratitude spread through your being, raising your vibrational frequency. From this elevated state, voice your desires to the universe. You will find that your asks now carry a potent energy, one that resonates with the abundance you seek. Chapter 6. The Magic of Expectation in a quiet valley, a farmer tills the soil, his hands calloused from years of labor. As he scatters seeds across the freshly turned earth, his eyes shine with unwavering faith. Though no sprouts are visible, he tends to the field as if a bountiful harvest were already before him. This tale illuminates a profound truth. Belief in the unseen is the cornerstone of manifestation. Just as the farmer nurtures invisible seeds, you must cultivate faith in your desires before they materialize. The power of expectation aligns you with your aspirations, drawing them from the realm of possibility into tangible reality. When you expect with certainty, you create a resonance that the universe cannot help but respond to. This is not mere wishful thinking, but a deep-seated knowing that transcends physical evidence. To harness this power, you must shift your perspective. Instead of waiting to believe until you see results, choose to believe first. This reversal is the key to unlocking the universe's abundance. When you expect miracles, you will find them unfolding before you. Consider the tale of a traveler who set out on a journey, his heart filled with anticipation of wonders to come. At every turn, he encountered what others might call coincidences or strokes of luck. A stranger offering shelter just as a storm broke, a hidden path revealing itself when he seemed lost, unexpected kindness from those he met along the way. To the casual observer, these events might seem random, but the traveler recognized them for what they truly were. Miracles manifested through his unwavering expectation. His belief in the unseen created a lens through which he perceived and experienced the world. This story mirrors the potential in your own life. When you adopt a mindset of expecting miracles, you attune yourself to the subtle workings of the universe. What once seemed ordinary becomes extraordinary, Opportunities you might have overlooked suddenly become apparent. To integrate this wisdom into your life, engage in this practice. 
For the next 24 hours, expect a small miracle to occur. It need not be grand or life-altering, simply something that brings joy or demonstrates the universe's responsiveness to your thoughts. As you move through your day, maintain an attitude of eager anticipation. Once the 24 hours have passed, take time to journal your experience. Reflect on any unexpected occurrences, no matter how small. This practice will train your mind to recognize the subtle ways the universe responds to your expectations, strengthening your faith in the unseen and amplifying your ability to manifest your desires. Chapter 7. Breaking Free from Doubt In a village parched by relentless drought, fields lay barren and hope withered. Yet amidst the despair, one woman stood apart. Each morning, she tended her plot, planting seeds in the dusty earth. Her neighbors watched, bewildered by her unwavering faith. This tale illuminates a profound truth. Doubt is the greatest barrier between you and your desires. The woman's faith, like water to parched soil, nourished the seeds of possibility. Her belief in the unseen rain was as real to her as the ground beneath her feet. To master the art of faith is to dissolve doubt's hold on your spirit. The universe responds not to your words alone, but to the conviction behind them. When you plant the seeds of your desires with absolute trust, you create fertile ground for manifestation. Doubt is but a veil, obscuring the limitless potential that surrounds you. It whispers of past disappointments and future uncertainties. Yet faith is the light that pierces this veil, revealing the abundance that has always been within reach. To cultivate unwavering faith, you must first recognize doubt for what it is, a learned response, not an immutable truth. Each time you choose faith over doubt, you strengthen your connection to the universe's infinite wisdom. Consider the young man who hesitated to voice his desires, fearing disappointment. His doubt became a self-fulfilling prophecy, keeping him trapped in a cycle of unfulfillment. But the day he chose to step forward with faith to ask without reservation, his world began to shift. Opportunities arose, as if conjured by his newfound belief. This journey mirrors your own. How often have you held back, afraid to trust in the unseen? The universe awaits your leap of faith, ready to meet your trust with abundance. To reinforce this wisdom, engage in this practice. Create an affirmation that embodies your faith in the universe's responsiveness. Let it be a declaration of trust, a statement that dissolves doubt. Each morning and evening, speak this affirmation aloud, infusing it with the power of your belief. As you do so, feel the shift within you from hesitation to certainty, from doubt to faith. Chapter 8 Eliminate resistance and watch your desires flow in. In a distant land, a mighty river flowed, its waters teeming with life and promise. Yet in its path stood an unyielding dam, built of stone and stubbornness. The river's current, once unstoppable, now slowed to a trickle, its potential held back by this immovable force. This story mirrors the journey of your spirit. Like the river, your desires flow from the wellspring of the universe, carrying with them the power to transform your life. But often, unseen barriers, fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs act as dams, obstructing the natural flow of abundance. To unlock the floodgates of manifestation, you must first recognize these hidden resistances. They lurk in the shadows of your consciousness, whispering tales of unworthiness or impossibility. Yet just as the mightiest dam can be dismantled stone by stone, so too can you dismantle these barriers. Consider the woman who constantly asked the universe for more, yet found her hands empty. Her requests echoed into the void, seemingly unheard. But the truth lay not in the universe's silence, but in her own resistance. 
Deep within, she harbored a belief of unworthiness, a dam built of past hurts and misunderstandings. As she began to recognize this resistance, to question its validity, cracks appeared in her self-imposed dam. With each limiting belief she challenged, another stone fell away. Slowly, the waters of abundance began to flow, first as a trickle, then a stream, and finally a torrent of manifestation. This journey from resistance to receptivity is one you too must undertake. The universe stands ready, its bounty held back only by the barriers you have unknowingly erected. To release this resistance is to align yourself with the natural flow of abundance. To aid you in this transformative process, engage in this practice. Take a moment of quiet reflection, pen and paper in hand. Allow your thoughts to wander to the desires that seem just out of reach. As you contemplate each one, listen for the whispers of resistance. What fears arise? What doubts surface? Write these resistances down, giving form to the formless. As you do, imagine each word as a stone in your dam. Now beside each resistance, write a countering truth. If you wrote, I am not worthy, counter it with, I am a divine creation worthy of all abundance. Feel the power of these new beliefs, like water wearing away at stone. Conclude this practice by visualizing your dam crumbling, the waters of abundance flowing freely into your life. Carry this image with you, returning to it whenever you feel resistance rising. Remember the universe's abundance is your birthright. By releasing resistance, you simply return to the natural state of flow and manifestation. Part 2. Deepening Understanding and Practice Chapter 9. Turn Asking into a Daily Ritual for Guaranteed Results In the stillness before dawn, an ancient monk ascends to the highest point of his mountain temple. As the first light of day caresses the horizon, he kneels, hands clasped in reverence. His voice, barely a whisper, carries his daily request to the heavens. Grant me the wisdom to guide those in my care. This ritual, performed without fail for decades, has become as natural to him as breathing. Each day, as if in response to his unwavering devotion, clarity descends upon him like the morning mist. With this divine guidance, he leads his temple with compassion and insight, touching countless lives. The monk's story reveals a profound truth. Consistency in asking is the key that unlocks the universe's boundless wisdom. By establishing a sacred ritual of asking, you create a direct channel through which the divine can communicate with you. To harness this power, you must transform asking from a sporadic act into a daily practice. Just as you nourish your body with food and your mind with knowledge, so must you feed your spirit with the practice of asking. This consistency builds a bridge between you and the universe, allowing for a continuous flow of guidance and abundance. Begin your day by asking for clarity, wisdom, or whatever you seek. As you retire each night, express gratitude for the guidance received and ask for insight as you sleep. This bookending of your day with sacred asking creates a powerful momentum in your journey of manifestation. Consider the tale of a humble craftsman whose works were sought after by kings and commoners alike. Each morning, before touching his tools, he would ask the universe for inspiration and guidance. Each evening, he would express gratitude for the day's creations. Over time, his consistent practice led him to create masterpieces that seemed to possess a touch of the divine. The craftsman's story mirrors your own potential. By making asking a cornerstone of your daily routine, you invite the universe to co-create with you in every aspect of your life. Your consistent practice becomes a beacon attracting the very essence of what you seek. To begin this transformative journey, embark on the seven-day Ask Daily Challenge. Each morning upon waking, 
Take a moment to center yourself. In this quiet space, ask the universe for guidance, clarity, or whatever you most need for the day ahead. Be specific in your request, yet open to how the answer may manifest. As your day unfolds, remain aware of the subtle ways the universe responds. It may come as an unexpected idea, a chance encounter, or a sudden realization. In the evening before you rest, reflect on these moments in a journal. Write down your morning request in the ways in which you received guidance throughout the day. This practice of asking and reflection will attune you to the universe's constant communication. Over the course of seven days, you will begin to notice patterns, synchronicities, and a growing sense of alignment with the universal flow. Remember the power of this practice lies in its consistency. Just as the monk and the craftsman found their greatness through daily devotion, so too will you unlock your potential through unwavering commitment to this ritual of asking. Chapter 10, Decoding the Universe. In the depths of an ancient labyrinth, a seeker stands blindfolded, surrounded by twisting paths and hidden dangers. Yet this seeker is not lost. With each step, they listen intently to the whispers of the wind, feel the subtle changes in the air, and sense the energy of the stones beneath their feet. These seemingly insignificant signals guide them through the maze, leading them to freedom. This tale illuminates a vital truth. The universe rarely shouts its answers. Instead, it communicates through gentle nudges, fleeting impressions, and what many dismiss as mere coincidence. To master the art of asking, you must attune yourself to these subtle responses. The universe's language is one of symbols and synchronicities, a chance encounter, an overheard conversation, or a recurring number, may all be answers to your deepest inquiries. These events, often brushed aside as random occurrences, are in fact the universe's way of guiding you towards your desires. To recognize these signs, you must cultivate a state of heightened awareness. Begin by quieting the constant chatter of your mind. In the stillness that follows, you'll find yourself more receptive to the universe's gentle promptings. Pay attention to recurring themes in your daily life, unexpected opportunities that arise, and the intuitive feelings that guide you towards or away from certain paths. Consider the tale of a merchant who sought guidance on a new venture. Each night, he asked the stars for direction. Yet when a string of potential partners crossed his path, each bearing the symbol of a star, he dismissed them as mere coincidence. It was only later, when his venture faltered, that he realized the universe had been answering his request all along. This merchant's story mirrors the experience of many. The universe constantly responds to your asking, yet its answers often go unnoticed. A dream that lingers upon waking, a book that falls open to a significant passage or a sudden inspiration. These are all potential answers to your questions. To hone your ability to recognize these signs, embark on a week-long journey of conscious observation. Begin a signs journal to document the subtle ways the universe communicates with you. Each day, write down any unusual occurrences, unexpected encounters, or intuitive hunches you experience. As you record these events, look for patterns and connections. A seemingly random sequence of events may reveal a clear message when viewed as a whole. Trust in your intuition as you interpret these signs. Often, your first impression holds the key to understanding the universe's guidance. Remember, the universe's answers may not always align with your expectations. Be open to receiving guidance in unexpected forms. What may initially appear as an obstacle could be the universe redirecting you towards a more beneficial path. By cultivating this awareness and maintaining a consistent practice of asking and observing, 
you'll develop a deeper connection with the universal wisdom that surrounds you. Soon, you'll find yourself navigating life's labyrinth with the same assured steps as the blindfolded seeker, guided by the subtle yet powerful language of the universe. Chapter 11, Gratitude Magnifies. You turn your attention to a tale as old as the soil beneath your feet. Picture a farmer, his hands calloused from years of tending the earth. Each morning as the sun rises, he walks his fields with reverence. His lips move in silent gratitude, not just for the crops that will soon fill his barns, but for every element that nurtures his land. He thanks the rain that quenches the thirst of his seedlings, the rich soil that cradles their roots, and the warm sun that coaxes them towards the sky. His heart swells with appreciation for the cycle of life unfolding before him. As the seasons pass, his fields flourish, yielding harvests that far surpass those of his neighbors. This farmer's story reveals a profound truth. Gratitude is not merely a sentiment, but a force that magnifies abundance. It is the unseen hand that tips the scales in your favor, amplifying the power of your asking. When you infuse your requests with genuine thankfulness, you align yourself with the very essence of abundance. Gratitude shifts your vibration, attuning you to the frequency of plenty. It opens your eyes to the myriad blessings already present in your life, creating a fertile ground for more to grow. Consider how you approach the universe. Do you come with a sense of lack, focusing only on what you don't have? Or do you approach with a heart full of appreciation for all that already is? The energy you bring to your asking shapes the response you receive. Now let your mind wander to a bustling marketplace. Here, you'll find two distinct figures. The first is a beggar, his voice hoarse from constant pleas for help. Yet for all his asking, his cup remains nearly empty. His requests come from a place of scarcity, and the universe responds in kind. Contrast this with a humble traveler passing through. Though he owns little, he moves through the world with a heart full of gratitude. He thanks the universe for every small gift. A kind word, a moment of shade, a sip of cool water. And as if by magic, more blessings seem to find their way to him. Doors open, opportunities arise, and abundance flows. This narrative illuminates a vital truth. Gratitude enhances the power of asking. It acts as a magnet, drawing to you more reasons to be thankful. When you express genuine appreciation for what you have, you create an energetic invitation for more to enter your life. As you integrate this wisdom, consider how you might amplify your own asking through gratitude. Begin each day by acknowledging five blessings in your life. Let yourself truly feel the warmth of appreciation for these gifts, no matter how small they may seem. Then take your practice a step further. Express gratitude for the desires you've asked for, as if they've already manifested. Thank the universe for the abundance flowing into your life, the opportunities unfolding before you, the dreams coming to fruition. This practice aligns you with the energy of receiving, making your desires manifest faster and with greater ease. Chapter 12. The Vision That Brings It All to You You find yourself immersed in a tale of creation and manifestation. Envision an artist, his studio bathed in the soft light of dawn. Before his brush ever touches canvas, he closes his eyes, breathing deeply. In his mind's eye, he sees his masterpiece complete, Every color, every brushstroke, every nuance of light and shadow. This mental creation is as real to him as the physical painting will be. When he finally lifts his brush, it moves with certainty and purpose, bringing to life the vision he has already perfected within. 
His ability to visualize with such clarity allows him to manifest his art with ease and precision. This narrative unveils a profound truth. Visualization is a potent tool in manifesting your desires. Just as the artist sees his completed work before it exists in the physical realm, you too can bring your dreams to life by first creating them in your mind. The power of visualization lies in its ability to communicate your intentions to the universe with crystal clarity. When you engage in this practice, you're not merely daydreaming, you're actively shaping your reality. To harness this power, you must learn to visualize with both clarity and emotional depth. See your desire not as a vague concept, but as a vivid, multi-sensory experience. Engage all your senses. What do you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel as you imagine your desire fulfilled? As you practice, you'll find that your visualizations become more real, more tangible. This vividness is key, for it's through these detailed mental images that you most effectively communicate with the universe. And now let your mind wander to a different scene. Picture a woman living a life that no longer fits her soul. Each day she carves out time to visualize a new life in a distant land. In her mind, she walks the streets of her new home, feels the unfamiliar climate on her skin, hears the cadence of a new language in her ears. Day after day she returns to this mental image, infusing it with emotion and belief. And slowly, as if by magic, opportunities begin to appear. A job offer in her dream location, an unexpected windfall to fund her move, a chance encounter with someone from that very place. Through her consistent visualization, she has opened channels for the universe to deliver her heart's desire. This story illuminates how visualization can be a powerful tool in your own journey of asking and receiving. By creating a clear, emotionally charged mental image of what you seek, you're essentially placing an order with the universe. As you integrate this wisdom into your life, Remember that visualization is not a passive act. It's an active, co-creative process between you and the universe. The more you engage in this practice, the more adept you'll become at manifesting your desires. To aid you in this journey, we've prepared a guided visualization exercise. This 10-minute session, available through the book's companion app, will lead you through the process of bringing your desires into sharper focus. As you engage with this practice, you'll learn to create mental images so vivid and real that the universe cannot help but respond. Chapter 13. Mastering Emotional Frequency to Manifest Faster You find yourself drawn into a tale of celestial guidance and inner alignment. Picture a sailor standing at the helm of his ship, his eyes fixed not on the capricious winds, but on the steadfast stars above. He understands a truth that many have forgotten, that the forces beyond his control will guide him true if he but aligns his sails correctly. This sailor's wisdom reveals a profound secret of manifestation, just as he sets his course by the unwavering stars rather than the fickle winds, you too must learn to navigate by your inner emotional compass. Your feelings, like the stars, are the true guides to your desires. The universe responds not just to your words or thoughts, but to the vibration of your emotions. It is this emotional frequency that determines how swiftly and effortlessly your desires come to fruition. When you align your emotional state with the energy of what you seek, you create a powerful resonance that the universe cannot help but answer. To master this art, you must first become aware of your emotional landscape. Notice the subtle shifts in your feelings throughout the day. Are you dwelling in states of joy, gratitude, and love? Or do you find yourself mired in frustration, doubt, or fear? Your predominant emotional state is the signal you're constantly sending to the universe. 
As you cultivate this awareness, you'll discover that you have the power to elevate your emotional vibration. Just as the sailor adjusts his sails to catch the most favorable winds, you can consciously choose thoughts and actions that lift your spirits and align you with the frequency of your desires. Now let your mind's eye turn to a different scene. Envision a group of students, all eager to manifest their dreams. Among them is a young learner who has grasped the importance of emotional mastery. While his peers struggle trapped in cycles of worry and impatience, this student maintains a state of joyful expectation. Day by day, he practices aligning his emotions with his desires. When doubt creeps in, he gently redirects his focus to gratitude. When fear arises, he chooses to cultivate love instead. And as he does so, something remarkable begins to unfold. His desires start to manifest with an ease and speed that astonishes those around him. This parable illuminates a crucial truth. Your emotions are not just reactions to your environment, but powerful creative forces. By mastering them, you hold the key to faster, more effortless manifestation. To help you integrate this wisdom into your daily life, I offer you a simple yet powerful practice. Each day, take a moment to check in with your emotional state. Notice what you're feeling without judgment. Then choose one simple action to elevate your vibration. It might be expressing gratitude for something in your life, recalling a moment of pure joy, or sending love to someone you care about. As you engage in this practice, you'll find yourself naturally aligning with the frequency of your desires. Like the sailor guided by the stars, you'll navigate the seas of life with greater ease and purpose, drawing your dreams to you with the magnetic power of your aligned emotions. Chapter 14, How to Ask from Abundance, Not Need. In this ancient wisdom, you encounter a king resplendent in his finery, yet plagued by an insatiable hunger for more. Though his palace brims with treasures beyond measure, he ceaselessly asks the universe for greater wealth driven by a gnawing fear of loss. His pleas echo through empty halls, unheeded by the cosmic forces he seeks to command. This sovereign's plight mirrors a truth you may recognize in your own life. When you ask from a place of lack, you unknowingly repel the very abundance you seek. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, responds not to the words you speak, but to the energy you emit. As the story unfolds, you witness a profound transformation. The king, guided by a wise sage, shifts his mindset. He learns to ask not from fear, but from a place of abundance. With this change, the floodgates of prosperity burst open, showering him with riches beyond his wildest dreams. This tale illuminates a fundamental principle of manifestation. Your requests to the universe are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of your consciousness. When sown in the barren ground of scarcity, they struggle to take root. But when nurtured in the rich earth of abundance, they flourish and bear fruit beyond measure. To cultivate this abundance mindset, you must first recognize the plenty that already exists in your life. Look around you. Notice the air you breathe, the sun that warms your skin, the love that surrounds you. These are riches beyond compare freely given by the universe. From this place of gratitude, your requests take on a new vibration. Instead of asking out of desperation, you ask from a place of joyful expectation. You no longer plead for scraps from the universe's table, but confidently claim your seat at the feast of life. As you continue reading, you encounter a second tale. A village, once mired in poverty, learns to thrive not by begging for mere survival, but by boldly asking for prosperity. Their shift in perspective attracts abundance like a magnet, transforming their community into a beacon of plenty. This story reflects your own potential for transformation.
How often have you approached the universe with timid requests, afraid to ask for too much? How might your life change if you dared to ask from a place of abundance rather than scarcity? To help you embody this wisdom, I offer you a powerful practice. Take a moment now to write a list of your desires. But here's the key. Phrase each desire as if you already possess it. Beginning with the words I am grateful for. This simple shift aligns your energy with the abundance you seek, opening the floodgates of universal plenty. Chapter 15, Letting Go Without Giving Up, The Art of Detachment. Picture a bird, its wings strong and vibrant, yet confined within the bars of a gilded cage. This bird, much like you, yearns for freedom and the vast expanse of the open sky. Yet it clings to the familiar safety of its prison, afraid to embrace the unknown. As you delve deeper into this story, you uncover a profound truth. True freedom comes not from the absence of barriers, but from the release of fear. The bird's journey mirrors your own. How often have you held back from your desires tethered by the comfort of the known? The bird's transformation begins when it learns to let go. It releases its attachment to safety, to the predictable confines of its cage. In that moment of surrender, it discovers its innate ability to soar. This, dear one, is the essence of detachment. You may wonder, how can I desire something deeply and yet remain detached? The answer lies in the delicate balance between passion and surrender. To ask is to plant a seed of desire in the fertile soil of the universe. But like a wise gardener, you must then step back, allowing the cosmic forces to nurture your request in ways beyond your imagination. Detachment is not apathy. It is not the abandonment of your dreams. Rather, it is a profound trust in the universe's wisdom. When you release your grip on the how and when of your desires, you create space for miracles to unfold. Consider the farmer in our second tale. He sows his seeds with care and intention, yet does not hover anxiously over each sprout. He trusts in the natural order, in the unseen forces that guide growth. This farmer lives in peace knowing that his crop will flourish in its own perfect time. You, too, can cultivate this trust. When you make a request of the universe, do so with clarity and passion. Then release it. Trust that the cosmic forces are aligning in ways you cannot yet perceive to bring your desire to fruition. This practice of detachment may feel challenging at first. Your mind, conditioned to control and plan, may resist. But with patience and practice, you will find a profound peace in surrender. To aid you in this journey, I offer you a powerful meditation practice. Find a quiet space where you can be undisturbed. Close your eyes and bring to mind a desire close to your heart. Feel the passion of this wish, allowing it to fill your being. Now, imagine releasing this desire like a balloon floating up into a vast blue sky. As you watch it drift away, affirm, I trust in the perfect unfolding of the universe. My desire manifests in the right way, at the right time. Practice this meditation daily, and you will find yourself living in a state of peaceful expectation. You will have planted your seeds of desire, and, like the wise farmer, can now rest in the knowledge that the universe is tending to your garden. Chapter 16. Words Have Power In the Annals of Wisdom, there exists a tale of a scholar whose knowledge spanned the breadth of human understanding. Yet, for all his learning, he found himself unable to manifest his deepest desires. This learned man, versed in the intricacies of philosophy and science, overlooked the simplest yet most potent tool at his disposal, the power of the spoken word. As you journey through life, 
You too may have overlooked this fundamental truth. The words you speak are not mere sounds floating in the air. They are vibrations that resonate with the very fabric of the universe. Each syllable you utter carries an energy that ripples outward, shaping the reality around you. The scholar's transformation began when he encountered an ancient text that spoke of the vibrational nature of language. He learned that words, when chosen with care and intention, could accelerate the process of asking and receiving. This revelation changed everything. You see, the universe responds not just to your thoughts, but to the energy you project through your words. When you speak of lack, you attract scarcity. When you voice gratitude, abundance flows towards you. This is the hidden mechanism behind the art of manifestation. Consider the words you use daily. Are they aligned with your desires? Do they reflect the reality you wish to create? The universe listens, always, and it takes your words as commands. It does not distinguish between what you want and what you don't want. It simply responds to the energy of your speech. To harness this power, you must become conscious of your language. Replace phrases of doubt with affirmations of certainty. Instead of saying, I hope this will happen, declare, I am grateful that this is happening. Feel the difference in energy between these statements. One is tinged with uncertainty. The other resonates with the vibration of manifestation. Let me share with you the story of a young woman who discovered this truth. She had lived in a state of constant complaint, focusing on what was wrong in her life. Her words were filled with frustration and lack. But one day, she decided to change her language. She began to transform every complaint into an affirmation of gratitude. Where once she would say, I hate my job, she now declared, I am grateful for the opportunities for growth in my career. Instead of lamenting, I never have enough money, she affirmed, I am thankful for the abundance flowing into my life. At first these statements felt foreign, even false, but as she persisted, she noticed a shift. Opportunities began to arise, her financial situation improved, and her life transformed in ways she had never imagined possible. This young woman's journey mirrors the potential within you. Your words are not just expressions, they are energetic commands to the universe. By aligning your speech with your desires, you accelerate the manifestation process. To aid you in this powerful practice, I offer you this exercise. Create a set of personalized affirmations that align with your deepest desires. Craft them in the present tense, as if your wishes have already come true. Infuse them with emotion and gratitude. Repeat these affirmations daily, feeling the truth of them in your very being. Part 3. Mastery and Transformation Chapter 17 Ask for transformation, not just stuff. Go beyond the surface. As you embark on this chapter, envision a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. This metamorphosis, so profound and irreversible, mirrors the transformation that awaits you through the sacred act of asking. The butterfly can never return to its caterpillar form, just as you, once awakened to your true potential, can never revert to your former self. In the realm of spiritual growth, asking transcends the material plane. It becomes a catalyst for deep personal evolution. You stand at the threshold of a transformation more significant than any earthly gain. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, awaits your call not just for tangible desires, but for spiritual enlightenment, inner healing, and profound life changes. True abundance, you will discover, extends far beyond the confines of material wealth. It encompasses the richness of inner peace, the depth of wisdom, and the fullness of a life lived in alignment with your highest self. As you learn to ask for these deeper gifts, you open yourself to a form of wealth 
that no earthly treasure can match. Consider the humble scholar who once sought only knowledge. His pursuit of facts and figures left him feeling hollow, his mind full, but his spirit wanting. It was only when he learned to ask for wisdom that his life blossomed into one of deeper understanding and joy. Wisdom, unlike mere knowledge, transformed not just his mind, but his very being. This tale beckons you to reflect on your own journey. What transformations do you truly desire? What aspects of your inner self are yearning for growth and evolution? The universe stands ready to assist you in this profound metamorphosis, but first you must ask. Asking for personal transformation requires courage. It means stepping into the unknown, shedding old patterns and beliefs that no longer serve you. Like the butterfly emerging from its chrysalis, you too must be willing to leave behind the familiar confines of your current self to embrace a new, more expansive existence. As you contemplate this deeper form of asking, remember that the universe responds not just to your words, but to the energy behind them. When you ask for transformation with sincerity and openness, you align yourself with the cosmic forces of growth and change. Your request becomes a powerful intention, setting in motion energies that will support your evolution. To aid you in this profound practice of asking for transformation, I invite you to engage in a reflective exercise. Take a moment to quiet your mind and turn your gaze inward. What areas of your life are calling for change? Where do you feel the stirrings of growth, the whispers of potential waiting to be realized? Now, with these insights in mind, write a letter to the universe. This is not a mundane correspondence, but a sacred communication with the cosmic forces that shape your reality. In this letter, ask for the transformations you seek, focusing on personal growth and spiritual evolution. Be specific about the inner changes you desire, the wisdom you wish to gain, the healing you long for. As you write, infuse your words with the emotion and conviction of one who knows that transformation is not just possible, but inevitable. Feel the truth of your requests resonating in your very being. This letter is more than a wish list. It is a declaration of your readiness to evolve, to step into a higher version of yourself. Chapter 18 Intentions versus Desperation As you journey deeper into the art of asking, picture a fisherman standing at the edge of the sea. His movements are calm, his spirit serene as he casts his net into the vast waters. This fisherman knows with unwavering certainty that the ocean will provide. His confidence is not born of arrogance, but of a deep trust in the abundance of the universe. Contrast this with another fisherman nearby. His actions are frantic, his energy desperate as he throws his net again and again, yet catches nothing. The sea, sensing his desperation, seems to withdraw its bounty. This tale illuminates a profound truth. The energy with which you ask shapes the response you receive. When you approach the universe with calm confidence, you align yourself with its natural flow of abundance. But when desperation colors your requests, you create a barrier, repelling the very things you seek. As you learn to ask with intention rather than desperation, you tap into a wellspring of power. Your requests, when rooted in trust and faith, carry a potency that resonates with the universe's desire to fulfill your needs. Consider now the gardener who plants her seeds with patience and trust. She understands the rhythm of growth, the natural cycles of the earth. She does not dig up her seeds in desperation, checking constantly for signs of life. Instead, she tends her garden with care and confidence, knowing that in due time, her efforts will bear fruit. Her neighbor, however, lacks this trust. Driven by impatience and doubt, he constantly disturbs the soil, uprooting his plantings before they have a chance to grow. His garden remains barren, 
not because the seeds lack potential, but because his actions, born of desperation, prevent their natural development. In your own life, how often have you approached your desires with the energy of the frantic fisherman or the impatient gardener? Recognize that desperation undermines your requests, while intention backed by confidence yields results. To ask with confidence is to trust in the unseen processes of the universe. It is to plant your desires like seeds, tending them with care, but allowing them the space and time to manifest. This confidence is not a brash assertion that you know better than the universe, but a quiet certainty that you are working in harmony with its laws. As you cultivate this confidence, you will find that your requests carry greater weight. The universe responds not just to your words, but to the energy behind them. When you ask from a place of calm assurance, you create a clear channel for abundance to flow into your life. To help you embody this teaching, engage in a practice of setting an intention with confidence. Choose one specific area of your life where you desire change or growth. Formulate a clear, positive affirmation that encapsulates your intention. Speak this affirmation with the calm assurance of the wise fisherman, knowing that the universe hears and responds to your request. As you practice this affirmation daily, cultivate patience and trust in the outcome. Like the gardener who tends her plants with care, nurture your intention with positive thoughts and aligned actions. Trust that the universe is working to bring your desire to fruition, even when you cannot yet see the results. Chapter 19 Are you ready to receive? Master the forgotten skill. You stand at the threshold of a grand banquet hall, the air thick with the aroma of a sumptuous feast. Before you unfolds a tale of a weary traveler, much like yourself, who arrives at this very scene. The table stretches endlessly, laden with delicacies from every corner of the world. Yet, as the traveler gazes upon this abundance, he hesitates, his hands trembling at his sides. I do not deserve this, he whispers, his voice heavy with self-doubt. Though his journey has been long and arduous, though his hunger gnaws at him, he cannot bring himself to partake in the bounty before him. This traveler, in his reluctance, embodies a truth many overlook. The art of receiving is as crucial as the art of asking. As you witness this scene, understand that it mirrors a struggle within your own heart. How often have you asked the universe for abundance only to shy away when it presents itself? The universe, in its infinite wisdom, responds to your requests, yet you may unconsciously block the very gifts you've sought. Limiting beliefs like thorns in your path may hinder your ability to receive. Perhaps you carry the weight of guilt, believing you're unworthy of the abundance before you. Or maybe, like the traveler, you've convinced yourself that such bounty is meant for others, not for you. Yet the universe knows no such distinctions. It offers its gifts freely, asking only that you open your arms to receive them. To truly master the art of asking, you must also master the art of receiving. For what use is it to call forth abundance if you turn away when it arrives at your door? Consider now the tale of a young woman who once lived in the shadows of scarcity. Each day was a struggle, her requests to the universe seemingly falling on deaf ears. But in truth, it was not that the universe failed to respond, it was that she had closed herself off from receiving. One day she made a choice. She decided to embrace every gift the universe sent her way, no matter how small. A compliment from a stranger she accepted with grace. An unexpected opportunity she welcomed with open arms. Slowly her life began to transform. As she opened herself to receiving, the flow of abundance in her life increased like a stream swelling into a mighty river. 
This woman's journey reflects your own potential. By learning to receive, you complete the circle of abundance. You honor the universe's response to your requests and align yourself more fully with its generative power. To help you cultivate this essential skill, engage in a receiving exercise. Begin by consciously saying yes to the small gifts life offers you each day. When someone offers a compliment, resist the urge to deflect it. Instead, accept it with gratitude. When an unexpected opportunity arises, even if it seems small, embrace it wholeheartedly. Practice receiving with the same intention and focus you bring to asking. As you do, you'll find that your capacity to receive grows, opening new channels for abundance to flow into your life. Remember, you are worthy of everything you have asked for. The universe's bounty is not just for others. It is for you, too. By mastering the art of receiving, you complete the cycle of manifestation. You become not just a seeker of abundance, but a vessel ready to be filled with all the universe has to offer. Chapter 20. Align with the laws of the universe for instant manifestation. Picture a village snuggled in a verdant valley where the inhabitants have learned to dance in step with the cosmos. In this village, every festival and planting cycle is carefully synchronized with the movements of the stars above. As the constellations shift in their celestial journey, so too do the villagers adapt their earthly endeavors. They sow their seeds when certain stars appear on the horizon and harvest their crops as others fade from view. Their celebrations are timed to cosmic events, each festival a joyous acknowledgement of their place in the grand tapestry of existence. As seasons pass, their harvests grow more bountiful, their lives more prosperous. The village thrives not through toil and struggle, but through an effortless flow that comes from aligning with the natural order of things. This story illuminates a fundamental truth. When you align yourself with the greater laws of the universe, your desires manifest with remarkable ease. Just as the villagers found abundance by attuning themselves to celestial rhythms, so too can you find fulfillment by harmonizing with the universe's underlying principles. Consider now the unseen laws that govern the cosmos, the law of attraction, the law of vibration, the law of action. These are not mere concepts, but the very fabric of reality, as real and immutable as gravity itself. The law of attraction teaches that like attracts like, drawing to you experiences that match your dominant thoughts and emotions. The law of vibration reveals that everything in the universe is in constant motion, vibrating at different frequencies. The law of action reminds you that inspired action is the bridge between your desires and their manifestation. As you align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with these universal laws, you create a powerful resonance. This alignment acts as a catalyst, accelerating the manifestation of your desires. It's akin to sailing with the wind at your back. Progress becomes effortless and your journey swift. Now envision a young man much like yourself who once struggled to bring his dreams to fruition. His efforts seemed futile, his desires always just out of reach. But as he learned of these universal laws, a shift occurred within him. He began to carefully curate his thoughts, focusing on what he wished to attract rather than what he feared. He attuned his emotional state to match the frequency of his desires, cultivating feelings of joy and gratitude. And he took inspired action, moving in harmony with the opportunities the universe presented. As if by magic, everything began to fall into place. Doors that once seemed locked swung open with ease. Opportunities he could never have imagined presented themselves. His life transformed not through force or struggle, but through alignment with the cosmic dance of creation. This young man's journey mirrors the potential within you. 
As you learn to align with these universal principles, you'll find that your desires flow to you with greater ease and speed. The universe is not a distant, uncaring force, but a responsive partner in your journey of creation. To aid you in this alignment, consider the following practice. Create an alignment checklist for yourself. Each day, take a moment to ensure your thoughts, emotions, and actions are in harmony with the universal laws governing manifestation. Ask yourself, are my thoughts focused on what I desire rather than what I fear? Do my emotions resonate with the feeling of already having what I wish to manifest? Am I taking inspired action towards my goals, even if they're small steps? Am I remaining open and receptive to the universe's guidance and opportunities? Do I trust in the perfect timing of the universe, releasing attachment to when and how my desires will manifest? By regularly checking in with this list, you cultivate a state of alignment that accelerates your manifestation process. Remember, just as the village prospered by aligning with celestial rhythms, so too will you thrive by harmonizing with the universal laws. Chapter 21. Why Patience is the Secret Sauce of Manifesting In the quiet dawn, a farmer stands in his field, his calloused hands gently scattering seeds across the freshly tilled earth. As you observe his movements, you sense the deep wisdom in his patient approach. He does not fret or worry about when the rains will come. He simply sows with faith, knowing that nature's rhythm cannot be rushed. This farmer understands a truth that many in the modern world have forgotten. The harvest has its own divine timing. Just as he cannot force a seed to sprout before its time, you cannot hurry the universe in manifesting your desires. The farmer's patience is not passive waiting, but an active trust in the unseen forces that govern growth and abundance. As you contemplate this story, you begin to grasp the profound lesson it holds for your own journey of manifestation. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, responds to your asking but it often operates on a timeline that transcends your limited understanding. Your role is not to control the process, but to align with it, trusting that everything unfolds in perfect divine order. Consider now how often you have felt impatient in your own life, anxiously awaiting the fruits of your labor or the manifestation of your deepest desires. This impatience can create resistance, blocking the very things you seek. By cultivating patience, you open yourself to receive the full bounty of what the universe has in store for you. Patience in this context is not mere idle waiting. It is an active state of trust and alignment. It is the calm assurance that what you have asked for is already in motion, making its way to you through the intricate workings of the universe. This patience allows you to remain open and receptive, ready to recognize and receive the opportunities and blessings that come your way. Now let us turn our attention to another tale, one that further illuminates the power of patience in your journey. Imagine two travelers setting out on a long journey, one filled with impatience rushes headlong down the path fixated only on reaching the destination. The other traveler moves at a steady pace, taking time to observe the world around them, to learn from each encounter along the way. As their journeys unfold, the impatient traveler misses the hidden beauty of the landscape, overlooks valuable lessons, and arrives at the destination exhausted and unfulfilled. The patient traveler, however, arrives with a heart full of rich experiences, newfound wisdom, and a deeper appreciation for the journey itself. This tale mirrors your own path of manifestation. When you rush, fixated only on the end result, you may miss the growth, lessons, and unexpected joys that the journey offers. By embracing patience, you allow yourself to fully experience and appreciate each step of the process, 
arriving at your destination not just with your desire fulfilled, but with a profound sense of fulfillment and wisdom. To help you cultivate this patience and trust in divine timing, I offer you this practice. Find a quiet space where you can sit comfortably without distraction. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing your body to relax and your mind to still. Now, imagine a seed planted deep in the earth. Visualize its slow, steady growth, the first tender shoot pushing through the soil, leaves unfurling, the plant growing stronger day by day. As you hold this image in your mind, repeat to yourself, I trust in the perfect timing of the universe. My desires are unfolding in divine order. I am patient, open, and receptive to the universe's wisdom. Continue this visualization and affirmation for several minutes, allowing a deep sense of trust and patience to wash over you. When you feel ready, slowly open your eyes, carrying this feeling of calm assurance with you throughout your day. Chapter 22, Ask for the Greater Good. Picture a humble healer in a small village. Each day as the sun rises, he kneels in quiet contemplation, but his requests to the universe are not for personal gain or wealth. Instead, he asks for the health and well-being of his entire village. As days turn to weeks and weeks to months, a remarkable transformation occurs. The village begins to flourish, its people growing stronger and more vibrant. And in this blossoming of communal well-being, the healer finds his own life enriched beyond measure. This story unveils a powerful truth. When you align your asking with the greater good, you tap into the highest vibrations of the universe. Your requests, when made on behalf of others, carry a potency that reverberates through the very fabric of existence. As you delve deeper into this wisdom, you begin to understand that asking for the benefit of others doesn't diminish your own blessings. It multiplies them. Like ripples in a pond, your selfless requests create waves of abundance that return to you manifold. Consider now the story of a woman who once focused solely on her own desires. Her asking was narrow, confined to the limits of her personal world. But as she awakened to the interconnectedness of all things, she began to shift her requests. Instead of asking solely for her own success, she asked for the prosperity of her entire community. As she did so, she witnessed a remarkable transformation. Not only did her community begin to thrive, but her own life blossomed in ways she could never have imagined. This tale serves as a mirror, reflecting the potential that lies within your own asking. It challenges you to expand your vision, to see beyond the confines of your individual needs and desires. When you ask for outcomes that benefit the collective, you align yourself with the universe's natural flow of abundance. To help you embrace this powerful shift in your asking, I offer you this practice. Take a moment to center yourself, breathing deeply and allowing your mind to quiet. Now contemplate an area of your life where you seek growth or change. Instead of focusing solely on how this change would benefit you, expand your vision. How could this change positively impact your family, your community, or even the world at large? With this expanded perspective, formulate a greater good request. This is a request to the universe that encompasses not just your personal desires, but the well-being of others as well. For example, instead of asking for a promotion at work, you might ask for the opportunity to contribute your skills in a way that uplifts your entire team or organization. Write down your greater good request, taking care to infuse it with the energy of compassion and collective benefit. As you do so, feel the expansion in your heart, the sense of alignment with something greater than yourself. Each day, take a moment to revisit this request visualizing not just your own growth, 
but the positive ripple effects spreading outward to touch the lives of others. Trust that as you ask for the greater good, the universe responds in kind, multiplying your blessings in ways you may not yet imagine. Chapter 23 Become What You Desire The Ultimate Manifestation Secret In a small village among the rolling hills, there lived an apprentice blacksmith whose heart burned with the desire to become a master of his craft. Each day he toiled in the forge, hammering metal with all his might, yet mastery eluded him. His mentor, a wizened smith with eyes that gleamed like polished steel, watched the young man's frustration grow. One day, as the apprentice struggled with a particularly stubborn piece of iron, his mentor approached. You seek to shape the metal, the old smith said, but you have not yet learned to shape yourself. To master this craft, you must become the fire you work with. The apprentice furrowed his brow, perplexed by these words. How can I become fire? he asked. The mentor smiled, a knowing glint in his eye. Observe the fire, he instructed. See how it dances, how it transforms all it touches. It is both fierce and gentle, destructive and creative. It does not doubt itself or hesitate. It simply is. As days passed, the apprentice began to understand. He learned to embody the fire's intensity, its unwavering focus, its ability to adapt and flow. He no longer fought against the metal, but became one with it, shaping it with the same ease as the fire itself. This narrative illuminates a profound truth. To manifest your desires, you must become their vibrational match. Just as the apprentice became one with the fire to master his craft, you too must align your energy with what you seek to attract. Consider now the nature of your deepest desires. Whether you long for abundance, love, or success, the key to their manifestation lies not in external striving, but in internal alignment. You must cultivate within yourself the very qualities you wish to attract. Imagine a woman who yearned for prosperity. She could have spent her days lamenting her lack, focusing on what she did not have. Instead, she chose to embody abundance itself. With each passing day, she nurtured gratitude for the wealth already present in her life, the air she breathed, the sun on her face, the kindness of strangers. She carried herself with the confidence of one who knows their worth is not determined by material possessions. Joy became her constant companion, for she understood that true abundance is a state of being, not having. As she shifted her inner state, a remarkable transformation occurred. Opportunities began to flow towards her, as if drawn by an invisible force. Her talents found new avenues for expression, her relationships deepened, and yes, material abundance followed. But by then she understood that the real treasure was the inner richness she had cultivated. This story mirrors the potential that lies within you. By becoming the energetic embodiment of your desires, you create a resonance that the universe cannot help but respond to. It is not about pretending or deceiving yourself, but about aligning your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the reality you wish to create. To help you step into this powerful state of being, I offer you this practice of living as if. Choose one desire that burns brightly within you. Now for the next seven days, commit to living as though this desire has already manifested. How would you carry yourself if this desire were already fulfilled? What thoughts would occupy your mind? What emotions would color your days? Allow yourself to fully embody this state of being. Chapter 24. Live in the Flow You stand at the edge of a tranquil forest where a river winds its way through the landscape. Observe how it flows, effortlessly carving its path, nourishing everything it touches. This river never struggles, 
never strains. It simply flows, in perfect harmony with the world around it. This river, dear one, is a reflection of the natural state of asking and receiving. Just as the river flows without resistance, so too can you live in a state of constant abundance, where manifestation becomes an effortless process of flow. Consider how the river doesn't question its course or doubt its purpose. It doesn't wonder if it's worthy of reaching the sea. It simply moves forward, trusting in the natural order of things. This is the essence of effortless asking and receiving. Imagine now a traveler who once struggled against the current of life. He would ask, but then immediately doubt. He would receive but then question if he deserved the gift. His journey was fraught with resistance, much like a river trying to flow uphill. But as he walked along the riverbank one day, he had a revelation. He saw how the river flowed without effort, how it adapted to the landscape without losing its essence. In that moment, he understood the secret of living in the flow. From that day forward, the traveler aligned himself with the river's wisdom. He learned to ask without attachment, to receive with gratitude, and to trust in the natural ebb and flow of life. As he did so, blessings began to pour into his life with the same ease as water flowing downstream. This traveler's journey mirrors your own potential. You too can make asking and receiving a daily, effortless practice that leads to a life of fulfillment. By maintaining the energetic cycle of abundance, you stay open to the infinite possibilities that the universe offers each day. To help you step into this state of effortless flow, I offer you this final practice, the Daily Flow Ritual. This ritual will help you set daily intentions, ask the universe for guidance, and open yourself fully to receive throughout the day. Begin each morning by sitting quietly, allowing yourself to connect with the flow of universal energy. Set your intentions for the day, not as rigid expectations, but as gentle directions for your river to flow. Ask the universe for guidance, trusting that it will come in perfect time and form. Throughout the day, remain open to receiving. Like the river that accepts all that flows into it, rain from the sky, leaves from the trees, the reflection of the sun. Allow yourself to receive all that the universe offers. Practice gratitude for each gift, no matter how small. As you end your day, reflect on the ways you flowed with life. Acknowledge the times you asked and received effortlessly and gently release any moments of resistance. Epilogue. As you close this book, remember that your journey has only just begun. The sacred art of asking and receiving that you've discovered within these pages is not merely a destination, but a path, one that stretches infinitely before you, rich with possibility and promise. Reflect for a moment on the transformation you've undergone. When you first opened this book, you may have felt uncertainty perhaps even skepticism. Now, you stand empowered, holding the key to unlocking the universe's abundance. You've learned to speak the language of the cosmos, to align your energy with your desires, and to trust in the perfect timing of all things. But this is not the end. It is, in truth, a beautiful beginning. The knowledge you now possess is a seed planted in the fertile soil of your consciousness. As you continue to nurture it with practice and faith, it will grow, blossoming into a life of unimaginable abundance and joy. The universe's potential is truly limitless, and so are you. I invite you to carry these teachings forward into each new day. Let the practice of asking and receiving become as natural as breathing. Allow gratitude to flow through you like a river, nourishing every aspect of your life. Embrace the power of your thoughts and words, knowing that they shape the very fabric of your reality. Remember, the journey of manifestation is ongoing. 
there will be moments of breathtaking synchronicity where your desires manifest with astonishing speed. There will also be times of quiet growth where your faith is tested and strengthened. Embrace both with equal love, for they are equally vital to your evolution. As you step forward into this new chapter of your life, know that you are not alone. The universe walks beside you, ever ready to respond to your desires. And there is a community of like-minded souls, all walking this path of conscious creation, ready to support and inspire you. I encourage you to join the Power of Asking community where you can share your experiences, celebrate your victories, and find encouragement during challenges. Here, you will find kindred spirits who understand the profound journey you've embarked upon. If you enjoyed this exclusive audiobook, I handpicked this next book which will change your life.